say we all sleep better at night back in Mexico City knowing you great fellas are stationed out here keeping the world safe for monarchy and now the star of the national traveling flamenco troupe Angelica <laughs> I do not know, my commandante. She clicked her heels out the door, and she kept right on clicking. Santa Maria, just as I was warned. She's tried to run off. Lances after her! Out! Oh, idiot! You too. Yes, my commandante. Turn around and face the senor. You all know Don Carlos Vega. He has just returned to us from his studies in Spain and has agreed to help instruct you in the sciences. Now, children, remember, we are in Our Lady of Infinite Mercy Chapel. So uh, pay attention and be good, or we'll all go you know where and burn forever. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> You're all yours, Don Carlos. Gracias. Good morning, children. Good morning. Today, we will begin a wonderful adventure through the exciting world of science. And I have a special treat for you. We're going to dissect a frog. Senor, wait. Let me at least administer the last rites. He's just a frog. Under this roof, until proven otherwise, this is a Christian frog. Spread out! I want the Pueblo sealed off! I want every house searched! Man the towers! I want no stone unturned! Brother, senor, you must help me. What is wrong, my child? I am Angelica of the National Traveling Flamenco Troop. I have run off because I am seeking political asylum here in California. Because of these evil men, my feet have fallen into the wrong hands. <laughs> Quickly, men, she must not escape. Search the village. Oh, idiots! Proceed with the search! Everywhere! Find her! Is there some place you can hide her? Well, there is one. See? Under my robe. Uh, but I fear it is already occupied by a family of homeless migrant workers. Everyone okay down there? It's all right. It's no good. What can a simple monk and a, a school teacher do against guns and soldiers? I, I must flee or you will only be hurt. We've got to help her, Brother Napa. If you are found hiding me, you will be imprisoned, beaten, tortured. I cannot have the blood of you good people on my head. Oh, hold that thought, my child. I must go. Bless you and keep you, my child. Oh, isn't she great? Somebody's got to help her. I've got to go. Comandante! The men have located a fresh trail of high heel marks. Ah, and look what I just found. Mr. Nets. Yes. Good work, Sergeant. We're getting warm. A flamenco dancer cannot get far over terrain like this without her castanets. <laughs> look over there, my Comandante. The men have her corner dancing around a tree. Ole! <laughs> ah, yes. Ole! Hey, 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 h
love it when they call me names. <laughs> Trying to ankle El Pueblo, eh, senorita? You may have my feet, but you will never have my heart. Yeah. Never! <laughs> Oy! Oy! Me! Oh, that smarts. Take her away. Yes. Very good, my commandante. Not so fast, Sergeant Sepulveda. Zorro! Zorro! Where did he come from? Santa Maria, he has a quiet horse. <laughs> so, senor, we meet again. And again, and again. That is right, Comandante. And as long as you do not mend your evil ways, Zorro will stick to you like salt to a margarita glass. Santa Maria, he is magnificent. Ah! <laughs> Another good tunic ruined. Hey, Zorro! I gotta pay for these! This is the hacienda of Don Diego Vega and his son, Don Carlos. They're friends, so you'll be safe here. This is Bernardo. He'll take care of you. At your service, senorita. Of course. When will I <clears throat> see you again, Senor Zoro? Don't worry. When you need me, I'll be there. Hurry, Senor, this way. <clears throat> <laughs> She's been in this house. I cannot sleep. None of us can. <laughs> uh, listen, since I'm under your roof, I've got to tell you what happened between Angelica and me last night. Son, you are a grown man. You owe me no explanations. However, I do appreciate a good story as much as the next guy I hear. Please, please. Well, you know what I did last night? I tiptoed down the hallway, and I stood outside her door and listened to her breathe until I couldn't stand it anymore. Oh, uh, and then? Well, then I tiptoed back down the hallway, out into the barn, and I dropped kicked chickens until dawn. <laughs> Father, am I in love? Depends on how many chickens you kicked, what the average hang time was. <laughs> you know, she's never gonna love me as long as she sees me as a, a cowardly school teacher. I've got to tell her that El Zorro loves her. El Zorro can take or leave her. You are Zorro Jr., remember? I am still Zorro. Well, this makes me realize the terrible price you had to pay all these years to keep you secret. I mean, even I, your only son, always thought you were a, a weak, sniveling, bumbling, inept. Are you finished? Did I say sniveling? Yes, you did. Thank you. Father, what did you do when you were frustrated like this? I kept reminding myself that my path was just, that my cause was righteous. And when that didn't work, I just put on my mask, hit the bars, and scored like a bandit. <laughs> it evens out. Now, think, Senor Hope. Maybe there is something you can tell us which will help us locate the girl. Has she run off like this before? All the time. Life is very funny. A beautiful girl like that runs away all the time. And I can't even get my wife to leave the hacienda. Badum boom <laughs> But I just want to say... Yes, yes. She should not be too hard to find. This is a small pueblo. How small is it? Hey, thank you, gracias. Where are you from? Originally, that wall over there. Hey, you look like my kind of crowd. But if I can get serious for a moment, we're lucky to live in this great land of ours where we can even keep the government, huh? Sepulveda. <laughs> 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 Look, there are guns in this guitar case. That's what guitar cases are for. So that is a game. Gun running. These guns are meant for the rebels. Rebels? What rebels? Sergeant, when there are people like us, they will always be rebels. Cassette, were you out among the people in the marketplace all morning? Si, sí, my comandante. What did you hear? Ah, Senor Perez, how is the wife? How is the family? How is the goita? Shh, que pasa? Which battle do you like in the Super Bowl? Ah, Bernardo, what brings you to town? I have flamenco shoes in need of repair. Let's have lunch. Hey, Bella, your cart is blocking my stall. Whoa, whoa. Go back. <laughs> ah, Bernardo, what brings you to town? That's I... it. 
put him on slow. I have the main shoes in need of repair. That's it. Now, what would Don Diego Vega's servant be doing with damaged flamenco shoes? My comandante, I think we have found our prey. Yes, but we must be sure. Diego, Pico, and Sepulveda approach. Carlos, quickly. Hide the girl. Ah, Comandante Pico, Sergeant Sepulveda. What an unexpected pleasure. Don Diego? Senores, would you care for Bernardo to bring you some wine? It is too early, Don Diego. Fortunately, my watch is fast. Make mine a double, please. <clears throat> Forgive the intrusion, Don Diego, but we seek the runaway flamenco dancer, Senorita Angelica. Do you hear that, Comandante? Hmm. Uh, that must be uh, Bernardo. Con su flamenco, Bernardo! Yeah, yeah! Arriba, Bernardo! It's the latest craze in Spain. Having to help flamenco back and forth from your kitchen. <laughs> there it is again, Comandante. Bernardo, that is all. <laughs> oh, excuse us, gentlemen. <clears throat> Tell the girl to put on some hush puppies. You may go. One moment, Bernardo. I took the liberty of returning those flamenco shoes which you brought to the Pueblo for repair. Sepulveda. I'm sure you will be much lighter on your feet in your own shoes. <laughs> Forgive me, Don Diego, but I had better have a look around your hacienda. Oh, what a coincidence. We're planning to put the house on the market. Listen, we're having an open house Sunday. Oh, your shoes hurt? The shoes feel fine. It's the feet that are killing me. <laughs> oh, oh, that's comfortable. Sepulveda, take the upstairs. This, this is an outrage. Cannot go in there. Wanna bet he can? Seize her! Ah, that's, I got you, I got you. Oh, down, Diego. Harboring an escaped flamenco dancer. I will deal with you later. Out, Sergeant. Sergeant, I want a word alone with the girl. Yes, Commandante. <clears throat> Senores, por favor. You have won nothing, Comandante. I would sooner scrub and clean on my hands and knees like the lowliest peasant than dance for a tyrant in all the palaces of Europe. Scrub and clean? Well, maybe just like dusting. <laughs> I was thinking more of torture. <laughs> you cannot bend me to your will with torture. <laughs> no. Perhaps your mother in Mexico City bends more easily. You wouldn't. Torture a mother? What do you think this medal is for? If you win, senor, I will return to Mexico City and dance. I'm afraid it is not quite so easy, senorita. Things could go very hard for someone who's running guns to the rebels. Oh! It is Zorro that I want. And you will help me. I swear to you, Commandante, I am totally innocent. That rogue Zorro, he threatened to cut my throat if I did not hide the carriage. <laughs> I believe you, Don Diego. I'm sure a man like you does not have the time to hide fugitives. You are too busy sneezing. And he also threatened that if I didn't have the flamenco shoes resold, he was going to kill me. He's very strict. He speaks the truth, Comandante. It was I who forced Don Diego's servant to have those shoes repaired. And here, the claim ticket to prove it. Remember, if you want to have someone to send a card to on Mother's Day, you'll do exactly as I said. 
No more than 100 hoofbeats. Oh, well, Tornado has long strides. And we caught a pretty good tailwind. <laughs> I can fight it no longer. I love you, El Zorro. Ole! Oh, how I long to see the face of me, and I love... No, no, Angelica. No, it won't work. I mean, you don't love me. Adore, worship, idolize, yes, but love? No. <laughs> However, <laughs> have I got the guy for you. <laughs> Listen, now I never do this. I mean, fix people up. I mean, I really don't believe in it. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a very private person. I can see that. You want to know who it is, right? Two words. Don Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Father? Yes. Can we talk? Cross, my son. I am miserable. Why? Well, after I rescued Angelica yesterday, you know what she said? No. Oh. She thought I was an El Wimpo. Which you? Zorro you or Don Carlos you? Me, Don Carlos. She's right. You are. I just can't go on like this. I've got to tell her. Have you never told a woman? Well, your mother, of course. That's all. Well, there was that party, Cinco de Mayo, back in 22. The point is this, my son. When you tell a woman you are Zorro, you must make sure that she is very much in love with you or very drunk. But you see, Angelica does love me. Or at least half of me. She just doesn't love this me. It'll never work, my son. She's not one of us. We're masked people. <laughs> wait, wait, what are you saying? I can't go with the girl unless she wears a mask? No, 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 Father, I've made up my mind. I'm going to tell her everything. And there's absolutely nothing you can say that'll stop me. Disinherited. On the other hand, what do I really know about this girl? <laughs> Fernando. They are. Do not trust that girl. You know me. I have a sixth sense about these things. I think you are right about that, Don Diego. Say what? That it is good that you have a sixth sense, because your other five are starting to go. <laughs> Fernando, you must keep Carlos busy while I find out about the girl. Fernando! Come on, Rosita. Not the best place to practice, eh, Fernando? Oh. <laughs> Thank heaven. I thought you'd forgotten all about me. Never, my love. I was thinking about what you said, and you're right. You should at least give us a try. Is he always here? Tornado, go to your stall. Uh, move! Oh. Greetings, Sergeant. May we have a chat about the girl? What is Pico's game? Sergeant Sepulveda, leak a secret? <laughs> or Sergeant Sepulveda, leak? Sergeant Sepulveda. I think a security leak hurts less. Pico knows the girl is a gunrunner for the rebels. Oh. Yes. He threatened her mother in Mexico City if the girl did not help him find El Zorro's real identity. Ah, that's wine. Well, that's my comandante. I must warn Carlos. The food is good, I trust. Mm. Too good to have been cooked in a cave. Why, it's almost as good as the meals at the Vega Hacienda. I have a little secret I want to share with you. Please, before you tell me any secrets, wait. Wait? For what? Look, I love you and you love me. We just spent a wonderful day together. And you're entitled to know the truth about Zorro. Including who he really is. Wait! Hey, hey, hey. Another, quickly, ring the bell. We must warn Carlos about the girl. I have a date in Mexico City, for justice. Warn him what about the girl? 
I am a spy for Pico. I can't believe that. Angelica, why would you do such a thing? I was running guns to the rebels. Pico found out and, and threatened my mother. I cannot betray you, no matter what they may do to me or my mother. I like that in a woman. <laughs> and in return, Zoro will give you his solemn oath. You will not rest until you and your mother are both safe. You rode all the way from Mexico City in a single night, El Soro? Naturally. And of course, Angelica's mother is no worse for wear. Senora. Here we go. <clears throat> Tornado possibly will need a weekend off. And my daughter's safe? Si, senora. Oh, how can I ever thank you, senor? Oh. Bernardo. Oh, gracias, senora. De nada. I do not know how you managed it, senor Zoro. But if my mother is safe, I can join the rebels. I must fight for freedom in my way, and you in yours. But I will always love you. Well, 